Hello and welcome to the January 2021 Celtic Tune of the Month. So for this month I was pouring over some of my old uh, books of dance music, um, in particular Morris dance music, because they use music from, uh, from all realms of the Celtic world. Um, and this one happens, will be familiar, but it will be different. It's called the Wiresdale green sleeves so you will recognize part of it as green sleeves but part of it will sound very different so that's the tune for january 2021 so the tune is in a minor which means everything is going to be natural and we're in six eight time to start it off we're going to start on c and then we'll have three in a row so we're going c d e and we're going to play this c three times so and then up and now we're going to outline a G major chord but we're going to head down instead of up so D B G now we're going to go to B to C put that third finger on A and three in a row A B C and now we're going to outline an E minor chord in reverse so uh, B G E so let's play that part again. So that's half of the A. So we've got three in a row from C. And then from D, B, G, uh, G, G major chord here, outlining. Then B to C. Three in a row from A. So A, B, C. Now we're going to outline that E minor chord from B, G, E. Moving forward, we're going to start it again, So, but we're going to pick it up, do a pickup note of B here. So B to C, and now three in a row from C, C, D, E. Outline that G major chord again, heading down. So D, B, G, B to A, sorry, B to C. Now three in a row from C, C, B, A. And then from B, three in a row, B, A, G. And then we end on that A twice. Okay, so the second half again, B pick up note here, B to C, and then C twice, D to E, and then outline that G chord again, D B G, B to C, and then three in a row from C down to A, C B A, and then three in a row from B, B A G and then two A's. Let's play through that A part. count it out. There is no pickup to start it with, so we'll start on beat one. So I'll give us a four, five, six in. Four, five, six. One, two, three, 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 four, five, six. Here is the B part. We're going to start way up here on this high G, and we want to make that F needs to be sharp. So raise that F lever. Uh, just that one. All the others stay natural. So we're going to go from G, uh, three Gs, then we're going to go to F sharp and E. So three in a row. We're going to outline that G major chord again, D, B, G. Now we're going to go F sharp to G. Another G and then G, F sharp, G. So put your second finger there because now we want to go up to A. And now we're going to outline a D major chord. So A, F sharp, D. Okay, so from the beginning of the B part, 
we have three in a row from G and that F is sharp so three G's F sharp E cross over and we outline that G chord again DBG back to the F sharp and G and then G F sharp G and then outline a D major chord here A F sharp D moving on we've got F sharp as a pickup to G and then three G F sharp E and then cross over and we have that G chord again outline it and now we go to B to C and you did the, the B part ends the same as the A part so three in a row from C then three in a row from B two A's okay so let's play the whole B part together starting up on this high G three in a row F is sharp crossover we're outlining a G chord here back to that F sharp and G and then F G F up to A outline that D major chord D F sharp sorry A F sharp D F sharp to G and then three in a row crossover outline the G chord B to C and then three in a row B, three in a row, B, A, G, and then two A's. Let's count out the B part, and there is no pickup, so we'll start right on beat one. So I'll give us a four, five, six in. Four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, one, two, 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 three, four, five, six. And here are the chords for the A part. We're going to start with an A minor and G. You could go to A minor again if you wanted to, but I like F here. E minor. Back to A minor. G. F. G. Walking it up and then A minor. And here are the chords for the uh, B part, and we're going to start with a C major chord here. <laughs> G, C again, D major. Now, if you only have this one F up, you can it's not cheating if you leave out the third if you leave out the middleman we call an open fifth and just play the D and the A for that D chord then you don't have to worry about lifting any other levers because we're going to use that F before in the A part right we use that F major chord so we need those levers down I mean unless you wanted to use put A minor there then go ahead and lift all your F levers and you don't have to think about it so again let's start with that uh, beginning of the B part again so we've got C G C D major C major G here again, I like that F. You can put an A minor if you like, but I like F. G. Now here you can end on A twice, A minor. Or you can go D minor and then A minor. Hi, my name is Aiden McDonald, and ever since January 2018, I've been teaching a Celtic tune every month from the various regions from the Celtic nations, Scotland, Ireland, the Isle of Man, Wales, Cornwall, and other places, Galicia. So, um, and the YouTube videos are free, so if you'd like to help this endeavor, you can subscribe 
and you can also hit the notification bell so that you're notified when the videos come out every month. If you'd like to help this endeavor financially, I have a Patreon account, and for a mere one dollar a month, you can get a lead sheet which has the melody, the chords, and lyrics, if there are any, as well as an mp3 of the melody of the tune. For a measly five dollars a month, you get all of that plus a beginning and an intermediate arrangement and mp3s of both of those and information about the tune. If you'd like to go all the way for 20 bucks a month, you can get a 30 minute lesson with me on helping you to learn the tune. So, Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you become a member. Thank you.